Recording in three, two, one. Welcome to another episode of Dread Dance Podcast. My name is Clint. My name is Mal. And we back for another movie review. Oh. Batman Ninja. Batman Summer. <laughs> Malcolm. Uh good, bad, ugly. What did you think, sir? Um originally when I saw it, well, I knew he was gonna be pushed back into time or whatever. Cool. At first first time I saw the mention of it, I thought it was gonna be like a period piece like um how uh, uh Gotham by Gaslight yeah. was. Yeah. I, I thought that that's how it was gonna be, but it was more so like them getting trapped into future yeah, Japan, yeah. but um, and this movie was like all over the place. Yeah, yeah. Um, like I want to say maybe the good portion of like some the beginning and stuff was like cool, but then I guess once they got towards like the end, the it was a little minutes. wild. The, yeah, the last thirty I warned you about last like last week or week before last. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, that last 30 minutes was wild as yeah, fuck. Yeah, it was, like, really wild. Like, like y'all like, are insulting somebody somewhere. <laughs> yeah, man. I was like, like, something ain't right. Yeah, y'all insulting, uh, I was like, anime in general or some shit. Yeah, I think yeah. anime is that wild. Like, <laughs> every predicament got wilder and wilder, and it's like, it got so wild. I was like, all right, this shit is fucking ridiculous. And yeah. It's a mech fucking battle and then it yeah. went from like a mech battle to a, giant a fucking monkey. giant <laughs> golem monkey bat uh with bats and stuff yeah, and yeah, yeah. Full, i was like all right that shit is <laughs> it's getting weird yeah <laughs> uh i liked it except for like that last 30 just like yeah the, I, like i wanted to draw like it was a good ass movie until like the last 30 minutes because that's my favorite i love the dc animated because that's the only time they seem to get like get shit right yeah and like they was getting shit right to like that last thirty minute fight, yeah, like that I'm last battle. Like, that shit was weird as fuck. Yeah, I'm surprised at them. I, I guess I, I, normally people tend to fuck up. Like <laughs> America, I want to say Americans, but normally when it's an ana, anime adaptation of something uh-huh. or like inspired, they usually fuck up like the formula for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, I think that's probably it. like it was. It was decent in the beginning. Um, what did you think of the plot? Like, uh, I guess, uh, I guess the whole story all together. Yeah, so. you know, like I, I just found it weird that Batman forgot his fucking roots. You know, he was like, "Oh man, what am I gonna do without my tech?" Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Nigga, like, you nigga, know, you you're know, a like, ninja. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, dude, you know, like twenty different martial right, arts. Right. <laughs> I was like, uh, I, 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 I don't know if it was more esque of. They Batman that uh, whatever uh, Batman that Japan. they had yeah, yeah. like um, no was, before they well I I don't know how different that Batman that uh, got the Batman uh, version was oh, yeah, yeah, to yeah. like okay. regular, to regular Batman okay, yeah. series and stuff but I was like man I was like all right you I was like okay I I'm still kind of feeling it that you know all his tech and shit got basically taken away and he had to like basically. Uh, uh, go back to his roots, yeah. Per se, I like the story a lot just because um, I know the plot was pretty much for like Gorilla Garage to um, pretty much get mind control over Gotham's biggest um, uh, villains. villains for case yeah, yeah. Well, um, Batman and Catwoman showed up and fucked shit up, and then they ended up back in feudal Japan and shit like that. Yeah. Um, my favorite part of this whole thing is just the stylistic, and I'm not even talking about like the 3D. Yeah, yeah, you type know what? yeah, because I like the I scroll. Love, yeah, yeah, when they were scrolling and showing like um, who owns this area of Japan and yeah, shit like, I like that. that. And my favorite part was the Red Hood uh, portion of the movie. That's why I <laughs> asked you about that too. Like, did you see the at least did you see the Red Hood part? He's like, no, you ain't got that far. Like, fuck. So like, if the whole movie would have probably been like in the Red Hood uh, John stylistic that it was. Like, that shit would have been even more lit. Like, cause that shit was cold. Yeah, it was when cool. they uh, introduced the Red Hood and everything. But uh, also, just with this whole 3D animation type thing, uh, it was awesome how they was uh, introducing all the characters like Joker, Penguin, and it yeah, was crazy. Yeah, everybody had their own section of like Japan, Japan and, and shit like that, and like, um, it was going to be this big war at the four, end and uh, shit. Uh, that was the warlords. <laughs> yeah. And, um, uh, I, I wish they would have went into like, 
it was still fucking like Gorilla Grodd was probably like the main villain and all this shit at the end of the day, but still it was still like a Batman versus Joker type shit. And I really wanted them to go into like the different lands because in the different lands, Deathstroke had a piece, Penguin had a piece, yeah, Poison Ivy I had a piece. And um, that's a different. That's a different already. And somebody else had a piece. Um, that's what I thought. That's why I originally. Ain't really go out. Yeah. yeah. Two face. Two face. Two face. Two face had a fucking well, piece. Well, two two face was. What kind of working with Gorilla Grodd? At, well, at first time. he had his own he land too. Also at the same time. Yeah, because at first he was more conjoint with Joker. Yeah. And, but then when Gorilla Grodd, when the final battle came and all this other shit, they were supposed to be on sides, but they yeah. Up, yeah. But um, I really want them to go with, like deeper into like like. It, they had all the Robins. They had all the Robins plus yeah, the Batman. Did. Plus <laughs> Batman had his own feudal, feudal Japan army uh, yeah, because they had their own Batman, Lord, Batman, Lord, Batman, Batman or whatever the case was. The and I just wish they would like split up and like did different sections because they did do the big um, fight at the end. Like one Robin got Poison Ivy and the other Robin Red Hood got such yeah. such and all that, that, that was, shit. That was that was more, all the way at the fucking end though. But like, that was more when they was in that big ass mech. Power Ranger yeah, mech. mech. Yeah. <laughs> and I, were, I wish they would have really did this shit at the beginning because that shit would have been dope as fuck. Like leave Batman to Joker, leave Robin to uh, I forgot. I think the youngest Robin. I think he. Fought Poison Ivy or something yeah, like that. Yeah, sure. the youngest one. The youngest one. Red Hood had either Deathstroke or Two Face. He or had Deathstroke. Like yeah. So, but like, it would have been fucking awesome if they would have did that shit and then. Yeah, because like, that's, yeah. that's how I felt like it was going when uh you know we first saw Joker and then they kind of like took over and stuff. I was yeah. like, oh cool, they finna go to the next uh pieces of area and try to knock out the rest of these people when uh Joker was missing or whatever. But yeah. then like. He ended up coming back and all this other stuff. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is which is fine, I guess. Joker, but. Joker tricks Batman like he fucking always does. Yeah, he never fucking fails. Um, Joker was like way more sadistic in this in this anime type style, my nigga. Yeah, he it, was. It, it was kind of awesome. <laughs> yeah, uh, Batman was the same. Um, I just wish they would have expanded more than fucking villains. It was it was more of a just a Batman versus Joker thing all over again. Um, mm-hmm. uh, Batman still couldn't kill Joker. Still still yeah. couldn't fucking kill him. Even though he threw him off the yeah <laughs> roof, but he caught it. He thought what he, uh, he was free falling, and um, uh, Joker was like, oh. See, you not the hero I thought. And yeah. then he caught his ass. He's done. Like, oh, man. He's like, I want to, like, soak it. Yeah. Uh, try to make fun of you and shit, but yeah, uh, you fucking caught me. Yeah. Uh, also, the people that, all the people that got transferred uh, or pushed back into time was pretty much everybody that was at Arkham Asylum that night. Yeah. So that included Catwoman, Alfred, the Alfred. Batmobile. Hey, the breakdown of the Batmobile was fucking awesome, though. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, too. I was like, I don't know what the fuck Batmobile is that, but uh, that, that motherfucker had levels. Ass, yeah. <laughs> it went from the Nightwing on no, to the... It not, went, not the it went, from, it went uh, from being a Batmobile yeah. to the to the little flight jet. Yeah, it went, no, no, it went from flight jet to car to car to motorcycle to fucking mech suit. Like, yeah, uh, Bat- first body when he suit. was uh, fighting Bane or whatever the case was, because Bane also got uh, Bat- but Bane didn't play that big of a fucking character. He's just a big ass woman wrestler yeah. and, and got tossed <laughs> and shit like that. But uh, but yeah, like it was, that 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 uh, suit was dope. That's as fuck. yeah, that 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 car. Was Not the suit, though, yeah, the car, car was yeah, yeah, Batmobile. But, I was like, um, man. Uh, what else? It was it was more just like a, a shit show of stylistic though. Like other than that, like the story, it, it was okay. It made a little sense and everything like that. Yeah. Just to be like a Batman comic book story, or, or I guess just a think piece to see how it fucking it's worked. Really type shit. Work. Yeah. But um, but other than that, it was alright. Cause at the last thirty minutes, it, it ruined the whole fucking movie, low key. Yeah, it did uh, the whole that mech weird suit shit. Mech like it was supposed thing. to be a big battle for everybody to see who controls the land because yeah, that's the whole point of all the villains being there. It's like one per one one main villain is gonna control the land. All right, cool. Yeah. It was gonna have this big ass war fight. Gorilla Grodd has his monkeys. Penguin has his uh his actual, actual penguins <laughs> and fucking uh. Feudal Japan uh, armor and shit like that. Two Face yeah. has an army. Everybody, everybody has their own everybody fucking army. Everybody had a fucking army, but, but then, we didn't see the army fight. Yeah, we don't see the army fight, but instead we see everybody in these big ass fucking mech suits, which is it's just weird. Yeah, that that was just weird to me. Uh, I was like, I, I was I was 
kind of looking forward to like I, I wanted to see like them fight on the field with their armies and yeah. shit. Uh, that's how I wanted to see. I, I didn't expect a big ass fucking mech. I didn't expect everybody to have a full uh, a full mech ba- uh, battle in the yeah. middle of the field, and then all combined of a sudden they get shit. combined yeah. like Voltron, yeah, yeah, all yeah, together yeah. and shit. And uh, something also weird. Uh, the youngest Robin, Damien. I'm assuming. I'm assuming that's who that is. Um, he fucking has a relationship, a friendship with a monkey. With a monkey, yeah. And they can understand each other and shit. And well, you know, uh, it, what was also weird too was that everybody is, has been there for like two years, and then like Batman just got there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. was like weird. I was like, man, because like if you the all of this big ass war, it's like two months or uh, some shit like that. When no, it, probably like two or three years uh, passed by. Yeah, some it was shit two too, years. Right? Yeah, because yeah, like they, because because um, because Al- uh, she, because Catwoman said that um, you know, Alfred had everything prepped for you, and yeah, it's yeah, been yeah. like two years, and it, it was just waiting on you. Yeah, I I just found it funny. Like, where the fuck? What the was, fuck was this nigga? Yeah, this like, was he like, just time traveling? Like, yeah, he yeah. Stuck in the portal, in the like, portal or some shit. <laughs> they they all got transported in the same fucking portal. Same why did it take? Why did it take yeah. him longer than yeah. the rest to to get there? And stuff. That's when he gets to feudal Japan. Like everybody already has their army armies and shit established. Yeah, like everybody's shit. like pretty much grown accustomed to uh, the the land and yeah. uh, kind of like uh, I guess uh, equipped themselves. Um, with the materials that's like around yeah. and shit, they were all fighting for these uh purple like crystal star type shit, whatever the fuck the case is. But yeah, um, uh, that's all I really got to say about Batman Ninja. It was good to look at. It was good to see. I will watch it again, but I will turn it off at that last fight scene, <laughs> pretty yeah. much. And that's that's it. Like, or I I would say if they re- redid it and just had. But I did like how the how the old Batman mech suit did, did like the old Batman. Yeah, yeah. I, did, I was I like, like, I like that nod. That yeah, that yeah. was the only thing I liked. But like, the whole but thing of the it was ridiculous though. The monkey <laughs> turning into the Batman, turning into the mech fight. Suit Wait, it didn't turn into Batman until the bats got yeah, on. Yeah, until the like, bats got on. Yeah, it was weird. <laughs> it, it, was, it got real weird. It, it was weird. Yeah, but other than that, it was dope. Uh, like the stylistic style, like I didn't, I didn't think I would like the um, the two to three D animation type thing, whatever the fuck case it is that much. But I actually did. I actually liked that a lot. Yeah, kind of remind me of Okami. Yeah, a little bit. And um, and I liked the Red Hook uh, scene that I wish would have went on a little bit longer because that shit was dope as fuck, just the stylistic of it and everything. But um, yeah. Uh, I want to say that's it. Yeah, that's pretty much it for, uh, yeah, because the story itself was... Yeah, it was a lot of Two-Facing, Gorilla Grodd, uh, he backstabbed Batman twice, I think. Or Gorilla Grodd? Yeah, I think Uh, think he did twice, he did it once on the ship. Once uh, on the ship. Yeah, but that was expected. I think he did it again uh, when he uh, joined the Joker with the the big-ass mech suit fight type shit, whatever the fuck the case is. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, we saw a, a priest bald head Batman, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, that yeah. was funny. He's, He's around there preaching the, the, preaching the word with the bats, with he, the bats symbol. On his, his bald head. Yeah, on on his the bald, it, it was on the Bible, the, the book that he was yeah. walking around and shit. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Other than that. Preaching I, I, the word of the bat. Yeah. So, other than that, it was cool to see a future Japan Batman, I guess. Um, yeah. And see his Bat Gang type shit with his gang, gang. Is. But, uh, yeah. Anything you want to say before we wrap this bitch up, Malcolm? Uh, no. No? No. The only thing I got to say is stop getting weird in the last 30 fucking minutes, man. You got yeah. a good fucking movie, y'all. Kind of fucked I, it up for me. I guess that's what Hollywood is. I guess that's the interpretation of, like, what anime is. Just a whole bunch of weird shit. That's fucked up, and, too. Yeah, it's just fucked up because they don't appreciate uh, the yeah. style of anime and shit. Yeah. But, Other than that, yeah. yeah. Uh, do a whole stylistic piece like y'all did the Red Hood. I, I would have been. I, I, I thought they was gonna go like. I thought it was gonna finish was like gonna, that too. Yeah, yeah I thought, like, it was gonna I thought it was gonna that, be... that should have been dope too. After they, because that was after the Joker uh got killed or died or killed himself, whatever the case is, yeah. and the rest of the fucking movie probably should have just went like that instead of going back to the 3D version. Like it was weird to just like have that one part, like seeing Joker fake change with Harley Quinn and shit like that. Yeah. Uh, when you have the red hood, but shit, 
damn, like this is the last time you saw the Red Hood in the whole movie, and it's not and shit. And it was, it was cool to switch over the transition over, but they should have just kept that transition and just kept the fucking going just like that. For yeah, the rest of the fucking thing. Yeah. everything was pretty. Matter of fact, they should have just kept switching styles. If they was gonna just keep, if they were gonna switch a fucking style, like you should, I like started at three D, then you go to hand drawn, um, like stylistic. What for the case is that you should have went to another style, and they should have went to another fucking style. But yeah, yeah, they were trying to real. do too much. Yeah, yeah. but other than that, um, probably would have made better if they just um, kept the mech shit out then. Yeah. Um, I don't know how they would. I don't know how they would have ended it, or whatever the case was. But that mech suit shit was not what was up. Nah, (laughs) plain and simple. But uh, yeah. So you good? Yeah, I'm good. All right, all right, cool, cool, cool. All right, so this has been another episode of Dread Dad's podcast movie review of Batman Ninja. My name is Clint. My name is Mal. And we out this bitch. Make sure to follow all our social media networks, Dread Dad's podcast, except for Twitter, Two, Two Dads, Dads with, with Dreads. Dreads. And we out this bitch every single day, every single week on YouTube. We have a podcast, movie reviews, and we do Dread, Heads, get Dread Dad's Gaming on Twitch. Yep, so yep. be sure to tune in. Twitch, Twitch. All right.